Saligram is a particular kind of stone which is extremely rare to find. Generally, sea anemones are being sold as saligrams. Any piece of stone is being sold as saligram, th those are not saligrams. Or people are molding them in various kind of raisins and selling them. Definitely that is not saligram. Saligram is a rare piece of stone which… which is one in a billion if you manage to pick it. And even if you pick it, you may not know the difference unless you are of a certain kind. And if you happen to pick a genuine saligram, if you do happen to pick a genuine saligram, then you are in real trouble. Because you should know how to manage this. Otherwise you will be in lot of trouble. It can also make your life if you know how to use it. It's a great treasure if you know how to use it. Otherwise it can be disastrous if you do not know how to use it. People who are living in family situations, simple lives without much discipline, without much focus, without much awareness, should never ever keep a saligram in their home. If they do, they could go through any amount of turmoil. We have seen such families. Somebody, you know, two, three generations ago, your grandmother, grandfather, somebody brought a saligram, they… they made their life out of it. But after they died, the next generation do not know how to keep it and those families go through such turmoil and such horrors which are unimaginable because they simply do not know how to manage the energy. It is like you have a powerhouse, you have a, a power generating source in your house and you don't know how to manage the energy and you will be constantly in trouble, isn't it? Whatever you touch, you will be in trouble. So this is just like that, it's a tremendous power storehouse of energy. It is like a mini cosmos, it is a microcosmos in its own way because it carries the same type of energy as cosmos would in its magnified version. So, this thing about seeking Yekamukhi, seeking Saligrams, uh, please leave these things alone. This is not genuine spiritual process. This is souvenir collection, you know. Wherever you go, you want to pick up something and think this is sacred, that is sacred. Everybody wants a Yekamukhi. You yourself have many faces. When you have many faces, if you wear a Yekamukhi, you are asking for trouble. If your whole life is just one-pointed and then you wear it, it's a great thing. 